starting with the three display fields. Users can now configure fields in the tree to their desired information to be dis displayed. So major improvements in configurability, unlike before, where all issue types will follow what is the selected values. Now each issue type can have different field configuration, which can help in workflow since the user can see the necessary information for each issue type. So to navigate, let's right click on the root folder. And here you can see the configure display fields context menu item. Let's open it and a dialog will show up. Now to highlight the parts, here are the issue type tabs, which by default is the configured folder issue type, issue type and the other tab for other issue types. Also here are the available section, which contains field that, fields that the user can select to be displayed. The search bar, which allows the user to search for a specific field. The selected, which contains the fields that the user wants to display in the tree. The reset button, which returns the default field values of the current issue tab. And it depends on the user. So right now I'm using an admin. So if I click on reset, uh, it resets to the system defaults. And if it's a normal user, it Fields set as a project default by the system admin, which is here. To show the usage, uh, as you can see, the summary and folder numbering is the current selected fields. So let's try adding the description and try removing the summary. So when I click on display, you can see. It is now being reflected on all folder issue types. So let's return to the dialog. And if I set this as a project default, here we have a normal user. So let's click on refresh. Now currently, the selected field is a summary and folder numbering. And if I click on reset, it's now set to what is set as the uh, project default by the admin. So let's go back to the other page. So next would be the reading view. Now the display fields is located here on the top right. And let's click on it. Now if as you can see, uh, there are now more fields compared to the three, dif three display fields, since the three display fields only uses the just system fields as the available options. Now we include other custom issue types. So let's try moving the description and the issue type icon here. So as you can see, it's now reflected in the tree. Uh, also, can also add the configuration for other types. So click, so clicking on the plus icon will display this field, at uh, this section with and with empty available and selected fields. And let's try using this issue type, which is the customer requirement. As you can see, uh, the default selected field is the key in description. So let's try just showing only the key and adding the issue type icon. And it's on this one. So as you can see, the issue type icon is now displayed along with the issue key. Now, to the coverage view. It also has its own display fields. So let's try adding a bunch of fields here. Display.
shows here in the cell the values of the configured field keys. And even if the value is empty, it still shows the field and added with a value of none. Also, unlike before where each view has their own display field configuration, now what the configured display fields are now uniform for each view. So as you can see, this is the configured view right now. If I move to another view, it's still the same.